They get saved. Woman then should run back in the street. It's like, whoa, you know, you're not going to get more action you know, than that. I mean, that was uh, amazing that she didn't get, she, she didn't get hit. I mean, we've had people walk her across the main intersection, and uh, it's just crazy what you see. And it's exciting. I mean, it, it's, it's amazing when you're out there and, you know, uh, you're doing everything wrong, but every church is out here standing. Right. And then someone comes up and they're like, I want to get saved right now. And, you know, just to make sure they're, they're serious, I'm like, you're telling me you'd kneel and make a fool out of yourself in front of all these hundreds of cars? Yes. Huh? And you're almost, you're surprised, you're amazed. And God's like, see, I'm the one that does it. Not Paul Chapel. Not uh, Pastor Mike at Calvary Chapel AV. God's the one that does it. And you just got to do things the way God wants you to do them, and He'll give the increase. But when He gives it, it's right. <laughs> it wasn't from some marketing scheme or being seeker sensitive. He kept it biblical. Amen? So, you know what? Smoking in the Christian. There's a lot of similarities. You know, and a, a, lot, a lot of times, you know, as Christians, we look at the smokers and we say, oh, how disgusting. You know, what about the Christian who's still involved in all that sin? That's disgusting. You know, so you point the finger, you got three more pointing at you. You don't like the smoker? And God don't like your sinning. Amen? So we need mercy. We need grace. And He has it. He wants to cleanse you from your past, present, and future sins. If you're saved, you got it. Amen. But the one you're still working on is right here on the here and now. He dealt with your past. He dealt with your future. And He's got that Clorox bleach uh, on, a, on a toothbrush. He's washing out your mouth. You know? And uh, He doesn't want you to talk like that. You know, and, and he's got that scrub brush going over your eyes, all those things you used to put in your eyes, and he's trying to clean up that mind. And I mean, he's got on the yellow gloves, and he's in there, he's trying to scrub that brain, you know, to forget those things that you used to be involved in. And, uh, you know, he's like, okay, tongue out. Ah, and now he's trying to fix your tongue up. You know, he wants to, he wants to make that tongue something that will glorify him now. Amen. Amen? It's good. Because after you've been smoking for so long, man, you get the yellow teeth, the bad breath. I mean, remember all that it does. All right, let's close in prayer. God, we thank you so much for this morning. And God, as we see so many similarities, God, with, uh, with cigarettes and sin, Lord, it's easy for us to uh, acknowledge how disgusting smoking is. But Lord, it's, a lot of times it's hard for us to acknowledge how disgusting our sin is to you. And Lord, you've, you've gone through so much to make us clean. Lord, you, you, you've asked us, you've pleaded, you, you, you've lived the example, you, you've shown us how to do it, you've given your Holy Ghost to, to guide us, and yet there's still sins in there that we're holding on to. God, give us grace, Lord, to let go of them. Give us grace to put them down for your glory. And uh, thank you for the morning. And just pray that you bless the closing song and fellowship and food. And all this prayer for in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Amen.